Welcome to this MATLAB video tutorial. If you've never used MATLAB before, this demonstration will get you started and show you where to go to next to learn more. The MATLAB language lets you construct commands to create and process variables. You can create variables by entering them in the command window here. For example, a equals 1, b equals 2, c equals a plus b, or d equals cosine of a. MATLAB is an array-based language, where variables can be vectors, matrices, or n-dimensional arrays. You use square brackets to construct arrays. To create a row vector, you can type t equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5. You can use the colon operator to simplify the creation of equally spaced arrays. t equals 1 to 5. You can recall previously entered commands by either dragging them from the command history here, or by pressing the up arrow key. You can then edit them. t goes from 0 in steps of 0.01 to 1. Adding a semicolon avoids command output being echoed to the command window. Find out what variables you've created so far, type whose, or view a list in the workspace browser here. To see the value of a variable, just type its name, such as b. You carry out operations on vectors just like simple scalars, for example y equals sine of 2 times pi times t. This makes use of the constant pi predefined in MATLAB. You can plot y against t with the plot command. In MATLAB variables can be complex with i used to denote the imaginary part such as x equals 3 plus 4i. You enter matrices using the semicolon in the following way. a equals 1, 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 10. Or you can use functions. You can browse a list of available functions in MATLAB by clicking this icon. And browsing available functions by category. Or by searching using keywords. Here we'll generate a matrix of random data. Double-clicking enters the function name. Pausing after typing a parentheses shows a list of possible arguments. Here we'll specify five rows and five columns. You can access help on all of MATLAB by clicking the question mark here and either browsing for information or searching. You can access demonstrations and getting started documentation from this message bar here. You can find the size of a matrix by using the size command, which is also shown in the workspace browser here. You can perform matrix operations such as B equals A transpose or C equals A times B, which performs matrix multiplication or C equals A dot times B, which performs element-wise multiplication where the corresponding elements of each matrix are multiplied. You can calculate the inverse of A and multiply it by A to confirm you get the identity matrix. You can select elements or sections of an array by indexing. For the variable a, here is the value at row 2, column 3. Or for the variable data, here is the section rows 1 to 3, columns 2 to the end. You can set values in this way too. For example, with data, you could set rows 1 to 2 and all the columns to zero. The colon operator used on its own in indexing specifies all elements, in this case, all columns. Note that array indices in MATLAB start at one. And you can plot matrices as well. If you wanted to display the matrix W generated by multiplying 
the transpose of the sine wave vector y with itself, you could type surf of w, which creates a surface plot. That concludes the demonstration. You can try some of these examples in MATLAB now or watch one of the other videos.